Welcome to the farm vlog today, guys. Today we're gonna be doing part two of building our chicken coop on the homestead, getting ready for our chickens that come home in just a couple of weeks. So come with us as we finish building a wall. Today we're gonna to be building the nesting boxes. There's gonna be six of them. They're gonna be a one foot by one foot. They're gonna be built out of two by fours and plywood. So I got my end pieces here. I've already marked them for one foot straight up. So let's just bring them over to the saw and let's get them all cut up. Okay, so we have our frame for our, our nesting boxes done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut our plywood to go on the inside, on the top and the bottom, and then we'll be able to put our dividers in. Okay, so we have our two by four on the floor. We got our one on the roof. And then we're just gonna measure and cut our two by fours to grow across for our wall. And this is where our door will go right here. And we actually scored a really good deal on a door at Home Depot the other day. It was in their clearance section for only 20 bucks. Here's a $65 door. Yeah. If you guys are looking for cheap materials, definitely check out the clearance section at your Lowe's or Home Depot, because you can get some really good deals there. And mm -hmm. that's what we got yesterday, was a $65 door for 20 bucks. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with it. It just has a couple of scratches, but it's for a chicken coop, so who really cares? It's a perfect door. So it's gonna go right on this end here. And then the nesting box goes at that end there. What's our plan with the door? Our plan with the door is to cut it in half and make it a Dutch door so that the top opens and is screened in the summertime and we can make it a solid door when we don't want it open like in the winter when it's super cold. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so this is where our door is gonna go. Right here. And this is the door we got. It's just a basic white door and we're gonna cut it about in half, maybe a little less than half, just so the top can swing open. So the $20 door that we picked up from Home Depot, we're gonna cut it in half and we're gonna make it a Dutch door. Okay, so we got half of the door in, you can see, and then we're gonna put the other half up top right there. And that's gonna be a quarter of our wall done. So we're definitely excited. We got a lot done today. We're gonna work for a little bit longer though, I think. It's not super cold and it's still light out thanks to daylight savings. How do you like my door? Ooh, what are you doing over there? I like the door, it looks good. It looks very good, doesn't it? It does. Well, uh, let's install the second phase of the door. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we got the top half of our door up, putting the last couple of screws in. How's your door looking? Looks awesome. Good. Got a nice even gap right here. Mm hmm so it swings good. Battery's dying, we gotta change it. Yeah, I'll go get the other one. Installed. We installed a couple latches here just to make it a little easier for opening. We got the bottom latch here so you can open the whole door if you want to go in and out with hay or straw. And we installed the top one so you can open just the top half of the door so you can lean in and you can feed the chickens in their buckets without having to walk in. Fancy. Okay, so now that we have our door all installed, what we're going to move on to is our nesting boxes. Now this is six feet long and it's gonna have six nesting boxes that are one foot by one foot. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna flush mount it on this wall, starting at this corner, two feet off the ground. So this wall will be completely flush and the nesting boxes will actually be on the other side where we can open it up to collect the eggs. We're 
inner nesting box up. We got it flush against the wall here. We're just attaching the legs and then we're going to be attaching all the skirting in the front and the door on the back. So now that we got our legs on the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish putting our studs up all the way across, 16 on center. And then we're going to put our dividers in our nesting boxes so that we have a one foot by one foot box. And then we're going to finish off the front wall by putting up our plywood. So now we've got all our dividers in our nesting boxes here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our plywood on the front. So we got our nesting box all installed. We got the back door on so that we can drop this down nicely and we can gather our eggs two or three times a day. What we're going to do now is we're just going to mount some blocks up here so that we can lock the door in place. Okay, so now we have our little locks in place and we just use a piece of a one by two that we had lying around to just turn it sideways. There's one on this end too. And we're also going to put a handle in the middle right here just to make it a little easier for the kids to pull down and then we'll be able to collect the eggs. Okay, so as you can see, we finished our wall today. We have our nesting boxes all done. We have our dividers in between each box and we just used scrap pieces to hold the dividers in place that we had left over from other projects. We're going to put a roosting bar down in the front right here so that they can hop up and then get into the nesting box. The only other thing we have to do is do the mesh for the roof so that the chickens can roost up in the rafters and then we're going to put some roosting bars in the corner back here. Just in this corner, we're going to do several levels just so they can stand up there to sleep at night. And then it will be good to go for the chickens. Okay, so now what we need to do on the coop is we need to put up some wire up on the roof so that the chickens can't nest up in the rafters. We're using a one by one weave just so that it's super small and nothing can get through. And we're going to use these U-nails to tack it up. Just to start, what we're going to do is stretch it out along this beam here, and then we're going to work our way that way towards the wall, pulling it tight as we go. Okay, so we are done, believe it or not, the inside of the coop. This is our ventilation door for the summertime, and we'll actually put a piece of plywood over top of this in the winter just to keep any drafts from coming through, but it's so we can open that door in the summer and give them lots of airflow. We got the roof all done so that they can't nest up in the rafters. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually hang our feeder and put our water down just so we can see placement for our roosting poles in front of our nesting boxes. And that's our next step. So we're gonna take a quick break from working on the chicken coop to head out to the maple forest and check on our sap bucket. Okay, so we finally made it out to the maple trees. It was a bit of a difficult walk. With all the snow melting, you're falling through in sections that are like three feet deep. Even with snowshoes on, it's not super fun. We're gonna check this bucket first though. This one's been dripping since we put the tap in, so I'm hoping there's at least something in the bottom, even though it hasn't been super warm yet. Oh yeah, look at that. It's already a quarter in and it's still dripping right now. And the temperature is still below zero with the wind chill right now, so that's great. It's going to warm up even more next week and we're hoping to see these buckets full. So after several days of lots of work, we are finally done the inside of the coop. These are the front doors. You can see that this side here is covered in chicken wire. That's so during the summer we can open it and get a nice cross breeze through there. Lots of ventilation for them. Take a look inside. This side is just going to be all storage. We're going to put some gardening tools, things like that, feed. Here are the nesting boxes. They flip down with two little locks on either end so that we can easily gather eggs. And it's easy for the kids too. They just flip this down and it's locked. Now we have this door that we put in. It is a double door, so you can have just the top open if you wanna just throw in some scraps of food 
or check on their water, things like that without actually opening the door. We'll go inside. In this corner, we have roosting bars for them at three different heights. And these are birch trees that we got from the property. So we can switch them out if, you know, they peck at them or they get covered in poop, things like that. We have a window we've covered in chicken wire. This corner here will eventually cut the door to go out to their run. We haven't built the run yet because there's too much snow on the ground. So as soon as that's gone, the run will get built. We haven't hung the food or water yet. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get a tire and we're gonna make an insulated holder for their water dish. And we'll do a video on that for you guys too. Here are the nesting boxes. And again, we used a birch pole for a roost for them to get inside. And that is the entire coop. We work really hard on it, but it was a lot of fun and we can't wait till our chickens come. A little less than a week and our babies will be here. Thanks so much for watching today guys of how we built our chicken coop. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you get notified every time we post a new video. As always guys, thanks for watching.